we are going to study the next poem fire and ice you see fire and ice these are destructive objects these are the evil forces these are forces to cause destruction and fire and ice you see ice the ice is getting melted day by day and a portion of our earth it gets covered by water ocean it is a fear fire it is to the destructive force and both of these forces are harmful to the human existence you see in class 8 you studied the poem geography lesson and in that lesson in that poem you studied the poet he says he doesn't understand why do humans fight among us themselves if we look at the world the world is getting confined the world is getting arrested into narrow mindedness people begin to quarrel on the petty issues sex gender caste creed religions provinces territories nations these are dividing the entire human race and in this poem robert frost the poet he is worried he is worried and what does he feel he feels nothing is permanent nothing is immortal we experience we experience covid-19 as pandemic across the world it has been monster nothing is permanent we are not assured of our tomorrow we have to thankful to god if we get one more day it is the condition at present we are not confident and nothing is permanent and nothing is immortal everything is perishable everything is perishable and so here in this poem the poet describes his internal idea for the world and we are going to study the poem fire and ice i am going to recite it please you all are requested to adhere to listen it carefully some say the world will end in fire some say in ice from what i have tested of desire i hold with those who favor fire 
but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of it to say that all destruction eyes is also great and would suffice it means the poet what does he say in this poem he says the world will end either by fire or ice and the entire human race he agrees what do they agree they agree this world will get destroyed but they have different opinion some say the world will end in fire some say in ice but they have a common thought yes they feel world will get destroyed and the poet what does he feel he feels the world will get destroyed by fire by fire and poet he says but if it has to perish twice it will be the apocalyptic it will be the most dangerous and the poet what does he say yes the world will get either the world will get destroyed either by fire or ice but but the poet he feels he feels what does he feel hatredness which is existed into human race we hate on the name of religion on we hate on the name of caste we hate on the name of religion caste creed sex gender provinces territories and these are enough to destruct the world the destruct entire human race you see the poet he describes the world's present situation every now and then if we turn over the pages of newspaper when we watch television in media what do we listen to what do we read we read we watch all these demotivated discouraging news and these news are shocking to entire human race existence and the poet he feels hatredness which is existed into human being that is enough to destroy the entire human race okay and poet he feels he gives us very beautiful message that to be far away from hatred and jealousy and fire together with love he wants us that if we do not do so the world will end and if we uh, keep hatredness in our mind then definitely this world will be destroyed and love will play the prominent role and we must unite with this beautiful value love and we should forget to hate anyone so dear students we studied here two poems dust of snow and fire and ice and these poems are very beautiful these are masterpieces of robert frost okay and in the first poem two different objects he brought together 
and formed the most beautiful result positive reason in the second poem the poet he uh, messaged us that love is very important compassion is very important in our life and we should uh, forget we should not hatred anyone and buddha's teachings buddha's christ's gospel mahatma gandhi's gospel must be listened to ahinsa parmo dharma and christ love thy neighbor and buddha what does he say hatred is never ceased by hatred hatred is ceased by love okay so dear student so it is the theme of this poem and robert frost he brought into our notice and he messaged the entire world uh, with his through his poems thank you